The Federal Executive Council has approved the sum of 8.49 billion naira for the procurement of 12 medical equipment for testing of cases of COVID-19 by the Nigeria Center for Disease Control. The equipment is to keep the country in a state of preparedness to contain community transmission of the virus, which has now affected more than 586 local government areas. Tai Amadou reports. The Presidential Task Force on COVID-19 had stated its commitment to expand testing centers for the virus across the country by the end of the month. This possibly informed the memo presented to the Federal Executive Council for Procurement of Medical Items to expand testing capacities and diagnostic capabilities. Minister of Health Osage Ehaniri explained that the plan was to have at least one sample collection center in every local government. These resources will be necessary to go around uh, the uh, 774 local government areas for to ensure that uh, persons in rural areas or small towns are not excluded and to ensure that not only the big cities are the ones being uh, 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 attended to. A major worry was the obvious disregard for COVID-19 safety protocols that had been observed at political campaigns in Edo State and burials and whether there was need to hold elections already slated to hold. The ministers of information and health acknowledged risks involved and peculiar circumstances created by the pandemic. But they noted that people had to take personal responsibility for protecting themselves. That's a situation where you are balancing between what the constitution says. If the constitution says you must do election by end of this year and then the need for it, you know what it will mean if you uh, decide to start bringing in enforcing things that uh, people begin to read another meaning into. It has been proven that uh, wearing a mask saves many lives, saves you, saves uh, you know, the other people, and we continue to help on people to please take personal responsibility. Council also approved a national gender action plan on planet change. The purpose of this policy is to mainstream gender within the planet change action plan since women bear the main brunt of the adverse effects of planet change. This will ensure women are involved in planet action activities right from inception, design, development, implementation, monitoring, and evaluation of projects. Tai Amudu, TVC News, Abuja.